Hello and welcome to the 50 Cent Tour of Friday, March 1st, 2013. Please find a seat on the Liberty Bus, settle in. You are among friends, so make yourself comfortable and we will begin our tour of the day. Obama White House threatens veteran journalist Bob Woodward over sequester reporting. There is very clearly a filter that the administration and the government in general has placed over information and they only permit what they perceive that is beneficial to go through that filter into the press and when something that they haven't handpicked manages to become widely known they are not very happy about it. Bradley Manning Americans had a right to know the true cost of war after admitting guilt in 10 of 22 charges Soldier reveals how he came to share classified documents with WikiLeaks and talks of bloodlust of U.S. helicopter crew. He's right. We do have a right to know the true cost of war. When we are being asked to turn our pockets inside out to fund wars, fund nation building, people need, we need to be able to speak in honest terms and know what is really going on. We need to insist on that. Interesting news here, breaking CDC issues advisory on emerging superbug CRE. 40 to 50 percent mortality rate, rate one year infection period. This is a bug that tends to become deadly in people who are taking a lot of antibiotics or who are otherwise ill. However, as the article states, it can the amount of antibiotics added to meat is eventually going to cause this to become a more widespread problem. I'm not putting this out here for fear uh, or because I feel threatened personally by it. I want to just let people know these things exist out there and that of course there are natural approaches. First of all you can not eat meat, not take antibiotics, and also there are dietary changes that you can make that can supplement your immune system so you can fight these kinds of things off. There's Allicin, which is the ingredient in garlic that's really effective against bacteria, fungus, and viruses. There's colloidal silver, there's grapefruit seed extract. So there are a lot of things that you can do for your, for your health to protect against this. But I, I just I want to put that information out there. Just as a reminder, planned secret tidal wave bomb aimed to destroy coastal cities. The reminder is, they don't have our best interest at heart. They're not caring nurturers. The, the powers that were, as we like to believe they are in the past, not in the present or the future. But it's, it's good to be aware of these kinds of things, know some of their plots, expose them, cause them to have to walk in the light, and perhaps March 11th, the anniversary of Fukushima, near that time is a good good time to consider this because as Fulford and many others claim, that was a terror attack against Japan. I want to change gears a little bit and mention some things that, some changes that may be on the horizon. This is from Removing the Shackles, New Tomorrow one people's public trust. I haven't put out all of the articles about one people's public trust. I've put out the websites and, and it's the kind of thing you, you need to do your own research anyway. However, this 
article discusses some, in a subtle way, some changes that may very well be taking place sooner rather than later. And here's a, this, this, I believe, a, the same change viewed from a different point of view. Bye bye dollar, hello SDR. It really is appearing as if the financial system is going to be changing on a worldwide scale. So just want to float this information out there so you can process it if you so desire. DHS states electronic devices can be seized at or somewhere near borders for any reason. From 2008 to 2010, 6,500 devices have been searched. And the reason it's at or somewhere near borders, there's a 100 mile distance from the border in which people can still have their electronic devices seized and searched. Pretty bizarre. Gold and silver approved as legal tender by Arizona Senate. That's just a little happy thought. More so if you live in Arizona, but maybe it is the shape of things to come for the rest of us. U.S. Supreme Court refuses to let Americans challenge FISA eavesdropping law. I believe that I have three different articles on this same subject, all from a little bit different perspective, because this is a very significant ruling and a very significant trend away from liberty. And I was very disappointed to read these articles, but hey, we know where we stand. And here is our good news for the last thought of the day. Iowa on verge of legalizing raw milk. Resistance to food tyranny is rising. Yay. So we also need to have rising resistance to spying on us rising resistance to seizing our electronic devices, rising resistance to vaccines, rising resistance to antibiotics put in our meat, and rising resistance to all the other scams the bankers pull. So I hope that you have enjoyed the tour. I hope that you've seen some things that have sparked your interest, maybe encouraged you challenged you, moved you from one place to the next. She who will walk in the dark appreciates your presence on this tour of the day and hopes that you have a great weekend and hopes that you are filled with hope because the dawn is coming and weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Looking forward to that joy, aren't we? Get a little bit every day. Take care, insist on liberty, and love one another.